Hi, welcome again for, to this episode of Thrifting for Profit and Pleasure. I'm Robert Housefield, your host. I'd like you to look at this mower. This is a Cobalt 40 volt and it's battery operated. And the reason I'm talking so much about it, it was one of my recent thrifting treasures. And the reason I say that, this item gives me so much pleasure. Not only is it a good value, you know, I saw this at one of the local thrift stores. It was $189. I thought it was a great deal then, but I waited a couple weeks, went back, and it was $49. Well, they had sold the charger for it, so they had to reduce it down. Well, it just so happens that I had a charger and two extra batteries because I had other products of Cobalt that I had bought through my pawn shop. So I took it home, checked it out, I'll tell you, I've been mowing lawns for over 50 years. This is by far the best mower I have had so far. Now, that doesn't mean that other battery oper operated mowers wouldn't be just as good. I haven't tried them yet, but this one I know. Now it is a little dirty, so I brought my cobalt blower. And the reason I did this, I bought this at a recent, not recent, but a earlier thrifting event, so I'm not going to talk about that, it right now, except to say how good it was, and I'm just going to blow off the mower, and since I'm talking about it, I want to show you how it works, it's so easy, and I had never used one of these before, I was always talking about electric mowers, you know, in this day and time, and don't get me wrong, I'm not a big greener, or a green piece or whatever you, you talk but I do want to look at the environment as an important resource and I don't want to take advantage I want to give back not take so why I like these type of mowers not only do they cut down on emissions and that type of thing but it's so easy to use now the electric mowers with the cords the reason I liked those before I got into these all you gotta do is you pull this, start your mower, and let it go. Same thing with this one. Look how easy this one is. You simply push the button, push back on the control, and away it goes. You can't hardly hear it. Now I've got it set up real low. I may have to set it down. No, not at all. Cut right through this whole stuff. It's a wonderful is supposed to mow this lot, but I'll probably end up having to do it, or maybe this video will get them seeing what needs to be done. This is an important resource. People think that they can just put it in a bag and throw it away. Absolutely not. That will recycle back into mulch which then turns into fertilizer and soil. So you don't want to throw away your glass, grass clippings. You don't want to throw away your limbs. If you have a way to mulch them and or store them till they decompose, you've got a great source of natural fertilizer and it turns into soil. So that's enough for this, but what I want to do, I'd like to take you to the open market. Our producer, suggested that we sell some of the items that we are featuring on our programs. That's a great idea. So we've purchased a building in Roanoke, Alabama, and we're planning on opening as soon as May 1st. So let's go over to the entrance to the market. Now it's going to be all different. We're painting, changing, but we've got a month to kind of get our act together. So now we're going to go over to the market. Well, here we are at the entrance to our market. It's, I believe, going to be called the Roanoke Open Market. Come on in. As you can see, we've got a, quite a bit of work to do, but we're going to level off this area. We're going to secure, take those boards down. It'll look really nice by the time we finish, but come out and see us. May 1st, look for our advertisements, which we'll be advertising on Regional Prime Television. So if you have Roku TV, check into Regional Prime TV, or of course you can visit our website, kawitapon.com, and we will be featuring any of the episodes which I'm involved in. 
So now we're going to go inside our building where we film a lot of our programming so that we can show you some neat items that we recently purchased at the thrift stores. So here we are in the kitchen. I wanted to point out a couple of local items that I purchased at the thrift store. Here are two Couric machines. Now I've already cleaned them, run water through them, and they're ready to go because I know my film crew likes their coffee. Now I have a Couric machine that I've had for a number of years and it is just a wonderful machine. The reason I like it so much is that it's so easy to use. You put your water in and also I wanted to show you another thrifting purchase that I got. These are fillable pods and they come in all different colors and some of them are a little bit different so you have to uh, maneuver them sometimes in your machine because they have little gates but they, they all fit in there. And the nice part about that is you can use your own coffees which I like to do and now you may not say Robert why are you stacking up all this coffee well the reason is I recycle it I recycle it yes I recycle the coffee it's great for my earthworms and for the environment you can spread it around your plants now I put it in a container like this when I'm done I'll clean it out same thing with these I'll open them up, I'll dump them in there. If you remember on a previous uh, episode, I mentioned about these containers. I wanted to just show you how wonderful they are because not only do they contain a wonderful product, but they can be used for so many purposes. Now I use them for my plastic bags. And as you can see, there's a, a system that you can use to hook them together so they come out one at a time and you push them back in. But get lazy, just shove them in there. They, it works fine, it, it will hold probably 20 bags. And it's a good weight, it's lightweight. And the nice part about these, which I love, they made these so you can just rip off the label. So you know if it doesn't have a label on it, you've got something in it that's not <laughs> uh, potato chips. And of course you can put your labels on right on top very easily. Okay, that's all for this area. There are several other appliances that I bought. One was a uh, crock pot. Now I have a three head crock pot, which I use quite a bit. Uh, it saves time for me because I'll put it in when I go in the morning and by the time I get home in the evening, it's ready to eat. Well, I just went to the local thrift store just to see what I could purchase. I purchased a large one for $7.99. Yeah, it was half price. But uh, you could almost always find a nice crock pot for under $10. And that's an excellent way to cook for those who are on the go a lot and want to just put something in and then leave it and come back for it later. Well, let's go back into the studio and let's go through the recent purchases. You're going to love these new buys. Here we are back in the studio. Let me go over some of the recent purchases. You're going to love these. I don't know whether anyone's used one of these or, or not. I want to try it. I just bought a new grill and this is one of those things you put down before you put your steak on the grill so you don't have to clean your grill. We'll try that. $2.99. I don't know whether it was a good purchase or not, but we'll see. I happen to like these kind of little boxes. This one was $2.99. And the reason I like this, it's a clock also. Now, I haven't tried it, but most of these just need a battery and they're up and going. And it also is a nice place to store your jewelry. Uh, kind of like a secret little place. I've heard of people using that. Also, I bought a bunch of <coughs> plates. Now, 
they were on half price, a dollar ninety nine regularly, and it was yellow day, half price, so a dollar. And I always will buy a plate at a dollar, especially if it has the packaging, because that makes it so much easier to sell. It makes it so much easier to ship. Now this particular one, beautiful little plate, comes with all the documentation, the certificate of authenticity, and everything for a dollar. And I won't go over all of them because I bought, and they were all the same price, so I got the same deal on all of them. One, two, three, four, five of them. Now, this is one of those items that I'm sure you're going to be featured in our outdoor market that we talked about a little bit uh, earlier that will hopefully be open in May. Okay, let's put these over here so I can go through some of the other. Now, you know, I go all during the week, so until I get back in for my show, I don't necessarily remember what I bought, so it's a real pleasure for me to look at these again. Now, imagine 49 cents for a bone china cup. Bone china. Now, we'll talk at length about bone china in another episode because bone china is worthy of a discussion, but for 49 cents. Now, if I look that up online, I'm sure they're selling anywhere from $7.99 to about $11.99 for that same cup. And as I said, it's hard for me to remember everything that I bought because I buy so much during the weekend. Let me wrap that up real quick back in this one. Oh, so I got another one. I got a, two of them for <laughs> wonderful. That was such a buy. I may have gotten more and forgot about them. But for 49 cents, I'll pay up to a dollar and a half for a bone china cup. And the reason is they hold their value and they last forever. This was another beautiful. And this is Occupy Japan. Now, if you know the history of Occupy Japan, that's another one of those collectibles that we'll be talking about at length at some point in time because I have an extensive collection of Occupy Japan. People were collecting this for a long time and I understand it's going to be popular again. This was only 59 cents. What a beautiful cup, gold leaf, absolutely fabulous buy. I had totally forgotten about those. Now this is a really nice buy for $2.99. Uh, it didn't come with a stopper, I don't think. No, but um, I've got plenty of those glass type stoppers that I can use in this one. But as you can see, it's got beautiful etched flowers, roses, absolutely beautiful. For that price, excellent buy, I believe. Now, the reason I buy these type of boxes, this happened to be on that same half price uh, a day. Uh, so I got this for a dollar also. When I go to the jewelry supply shop, I have to pay about $8.50 for this same item. So you can see it's beautiful. So I put it in my jewelry case and I'll sell it as a watch box or a ring box that someone can give alongside their jewelry gift that they just purchased. So I get an extra value to that jewelry purchase that they just made. Now, I don't even know what these are. I think napkins, okay. So dollar deal. So for any kind of napkins that you can use for a multitude of purposes, I paid a dollar, so we won't even. If you were with us last week, episode six, I believe, we were at the Carrollton Flea Market, also called the West Georgia Flea Market in um, Bremen, Georgia. Well, my favorite booth, David and Tommy, I mean David and Robbie, had these items. Now, I won't go through all of them, but these were $2 a piece. This is about a 4 or $5 item in any hardware store. Blankets that you can give as gifts. Now, if you remember, I told you when you take up a bunch to any vendor, 
they're almost always going to give you a better deal. And he did. So my average price on these items was $1.25. And that's because he averaged it out and gave me a discount on everything. But I just wanted to show you the variety of items that I got from him. Now this had the $2 sticker, which again, I got for $1.25, but it originally sold for $5. So some deals can still be obtained. And by the way, people ask me, uh, are, are your uh, programs scripted? Absolutely not. This is me to you. I'm trying to help you become an entrepreneur also and learn how to turn your trash into treasures. And I call it trash because that's a terminology used a lot for stuff that people don't want, but there's always someone who does want it. Now, these were some cords that I got, and I'm not really sure what they're for. Um, I think some camera. So I won't go into detail on those. They were a dollar, so he gave them to me for 50 cents a piece. So a dollar fifty for all three. Now, some of the items, well, this was another one of the $2 items of his, so that was marked down to $1.25. Now, <laughs> these were especially nice from him because these were signs. These are all metal, and they were $2, and he gave me a better deal on them, so that ended up being approximately $1.25 a piece. These will easily sell for $5.99 in my shop. So that was an excellent buy. And one of the reasons I'm doing this, uh, I'll remind you, is I want to help you to do the same thing. I want you to be able to go out and still find incredible deals that you can either have pleasure in knowing that you got it for a fraction of the cost that you would if you bought it retail or if you're like me not only do you get that pleasure but you get the pleasure of being able to see how you can turn a profit this was one of those items I needed a mailbox so if you had to buy it this is about $14.99 in the store so I paid $5.99 I'm not sure whether it was that half price um, color at the other store because that's a different store but it doesn't matter. For $6 to get that nice and lockable, it was worth it. I wanted to mention an item. Uh, I'll go back to it in a minute. I am a total sucker for jewelry boxes, especially the nice wooden ones that can be used as a piece of doll furniture in a, a exquisite dollhouse. You know, these were replicated after pieces of furniture. And these are beautiful. And this particular one is in excellent shape. Glass wind glass etched windows. And again, all wood. And my cost on this, it may not have been half price. But even at $7.99, I thought this was a steal. Again, all wood, all the hardware parts are on them, so you don't miss out. Sometimes there'll be a um, pool missing, a drawer missing. Uh, unless you have a lot of them, you wouldn't want to get those particular items. I love this item. This is an Cupid or Angel all metal. You know how I love my metals. So, this is obviously quite old. It has a hingeable leg, so it will stand up. And little metal screw, I'll put it over here so you can see it uh, in this camera, $2.99. $2.99. That's a designer piece. I can't wait to repaint that. And metal is so easy to repaint. Uh, any color you want. 
Now, I'm also a sucker for candles. All oh, that smells so good, mulberry. If you've ever been to a candle shop, you know how expensive candles are. Now, probably I bought this on half price today because normally I don't pay more than a dollar a piece for these, even though they're normally four to seven ninety nine in the candle shop. I just don't. But this one smells so good I couldn't resist, but I, I think I only paid a dollar for it anyway. This was a wonderful buy. For going to the beach, you know, for $1.99, you get one, two, three, four, five water guns. If you have a lot of kids, this would have been an excellent purchase for you. Now, it will be going to the uh, Carrollton Flea Market in our booth, so, or it'll be in our uh, open market, which is scheduled to open May the 1st. So check it out. We're going to have a lot of items out there that you uh, saw featured in this program. Now, if you're like me, you have a lot of Christmas ornaments. And you never know what to do with them. Well, I purchased this recently because they're so expensive when you buy them brand new. Uh, when, they, when Christmas comes out, they'll sell these. But they're $9.99 to $19.99. But they're nice because they have the cardboard inserts. And, of course, I would put my nicer and exquisite um, ornaments in here. But it was $6.99. I paid the $6.99 because it was one of those items that I wanted to, to get. And it also helps the thrift store, too. Now, I, I showed this, I think, in a previous... Uh, uh, episode but I didn't break it open but this had cost me I think it was a dollar 99 if I'm not mistaken uh, 599 half price so three dollars but when you see all the different items now any one of these items would easily cost a dollar um, any at any store and some of the items considerably more now pet wipes which brings me to mention what I wanted to earlier and, and couldn't remember it and I look at all these items for three dollars there's probably 15 or so items all together so I would say that was a pretty good buy for the price and that's one of those swifter things brand, all brand new items um, these containers I don't know I think you may be able to see it with this kit you remember I showed you a couple weeks ago, I bought these for $2 a piece. And they were oversized containers, and I'm thinking, what am I going to use those for? Well, I have an older dog who is, I call, convalescing. And this has made a wonderful bed for him. It's about the size of a pillow. So I covered a pillow with plastic and then put another... Oh, by the way, you remember those plastic coatings if you uh, tuned into one of my earlier episodes I showed you some irritated plastic uh, that was actually made for hospital use it worked so good for my dog so I covered this with that plastic too and then I put his sh uh, bedding on top of that usually towels and other clothing that um, I was recycling now I have been throwing away that I guess I could wash it, but it's easier for me right now. He's at the later stage in life, but um, he's not in pain. So as long as he wants to stay here, I'm going to keep him going. Let me go to some other items. Oh, this is... You know how much I love metal products. I bet this is probably 10 pounds or more. I didn't get it on half price day because I didn't want to lose out on this buy. This was $2.99, but what it is, and I haven't even opened to see exactly, but I could tell through the wrapping that they were really nice and good quality. And these also can be painted any color you want. So these metal products are just so wonderful. All right. So these are crosses, all metal, 
It looks like maybe the same style, and then there's a trivet. It's it, it's funny. My um, some of my business partners have said, "Why are you buying these trivets?" Well, you know, people still use them, and even though a lot of people don't, I sold one this week. It had a rooster on it. Well, especially those items that have animals um, that are made of metal, ceramic, or something long-lasting, uh, normally you can um, look at this. This is just incredible. There are four crosses and one trivet. So for three dollars, less than a dollar, I got these items. What a steal. I don't want to use that term, steal. Uh, what a buy. Now, if you're like me, we're always putting up a lot of different blinds and uh, window coverings because we have different properties. So, oops, I'm not sure where all that dirt came from, but. Um, this was $2.99. Now this is a rod with real nice ends and the curtain stays to go on the side. So what a deal for $3. You're going to pay at least $19.99 for that same item in the retail store. Now, here was one of the items I wanted to mention also. It's not the item itself, it was what was in the item. If you remember or if you did, didn't did tune in, we had a uh, set of masks. Well, they really weren't a set, but there were two different horror masks. One was a werewolf and one was, I'm not sure who the, the character was, but the person I sold them to, Tommy Mays at the Carrollton Flea Market, he has Gator Games. He knew exactly what they were, and if you tuned in, or if you want to tune in, it's the sixth episode, you can see that I sold those to him for a substantial profit. I paid $5 for the two masks, and he paid me, and it's all on camera, not scripted. He didn't even know I was coming out. $35, so that was a pretty good profit margin. You two could be doing the same thing by following the same example. Now, we will be showing you in future episodes how to go out to the Bremen flea market, also called the West Georgia <coughs> flea market, in Bremen, I should say, and set up your own booth. We'll show you how to effectively set one up to display almost any item that you have and probably using most of the materials that you already have on hand. Okay. <laughs> this was a wonderful little purchase. You've seen several masks on my programs because I pick these up anytime I can and one of the reasons is they're really great for Halloween masquerade parties and they make really good wall coverings um, people make a whole uh, decoupage I guess I don't know, for lack of a better word but it's a collage I should say of these and they put them on a wall and it looks absolutely beautiful this was only 99 cents 99 cents and look how beautiful. Probably handmade. It doesn't say made in China, which is a good thing. You know how I am about made in China. Avoid it like the plague. Okay, whoops, I've got to be careful with these items. It sounds like they are clanging. Oh, this was an interesting item. And the reason I bought it, uh, you know, of course Valentine's Day comes around every year. So it's never too early to be thinking about what you could get and even if something like this can last till next year too. This was $1.49. It was half price. It was actually 75 cents. I couldn't pass it up because even though it's not um, bone china, it's a nice mug. It has a nice saying and it's got the brand new little dog with a heart that was in it. So, what a nice little gift for Valentine's. So, I'll put that in my case. I'm sure someone will happily pay six, seven dollars for that little item. Now, 
it's it's always exciting when I, they're wrapped good because that means normally that something is special. Oh, they made a lot of George and Martha Washingtons. So when you see these in the store um, or in the antique stores, what have you, these are actually George and Martha Washington. Now, the nice part about this particular one was it was made in occupied Japan. I'm going to ask you to zoom in on this so that you can see. Can you see the lettering on it? Okay. And this was a great buy. It was $5.99. I'm not sure whether I paid half price or not. I can't remember. I'm trying to mark them now so that I can remember. But regardless of whether I did or not, there were no cracks on this, and it's in excellent shape. Um, so for $6, this was a great buy for my collection. This is a pleasure item, by the way. I tried to get a little bit better organized this week and have things so that I could go through them quickly. Um, but that always doesn't work out the way I planned. Now, this is another one of those beautiful bone china dishes, uh, or cups, I won't go into detail, $1.49, and as I mentioned, I don't know whether I bought it on half price, but I will gladly pay up to a dollar and a half for a nice bone china cup in pristine or excellent condition. And if it has a saucer, I'll generally pay a little bit more because the cup and saucer combination is normally a little bit more online too, so you can get a little bit more for it when you go to resell it. And this happens to be a cup and saucer. Now, uh, I don't think this is bone china. And it was $1.99, but the reason I'm sure I bought this, because I recognize the pattern, is because it's Johnson Brothers and it's from England. They make such wonderful pottery in China in England, or did, but I'm sure they still do because a lot of those companies are still in uh, business today. And you can look them up on the internet. And when we go into the Bone China uh, episode, you'll see what I'm talking about. Most of the really good Bone China comes from England, or at least that's my experience. Now China, of course, is replicating it, but you can tell the quality of the bone ch china is not the same. And I'm going to try and hurry here, because I know we're kind of running out of time, but um, we've got so much merchandise to go through, but don't fear, we'll have another episode soon, so you'll be able to tune in. So, the reason I, another reason I bought that single one is because the same pawn, uh, um, <laughs> thrift store, get confused with my pawn shop every once in a while, um, had the set of four for $3.99. So, they weren't on half price, but that's a dollar a piece, so that was a good deal. And it helped, it'll help me sell that single one that I bought for $1.49. Also, okay, here we go. So, I noticed these at the local Goodwill, and they were $1.99. And that wasn't a bad deal because these are digital thermometers. Now, I don't know a lot about them, but I wanted these for my emergency first aid kit. But I waited because I had two boxes full of them. I waited until half price, so these were only a dollar. So I got a couple of them. I maybe should have gotten more, but at least I got the couple for my um, first aid kits. Now, as I mentioned before, anytime you're out thrifting, pick up those items that you might need for your first aid kit because a first aid, aid kit is very important along with a lot of other little tools that we'll be going over from time to time. And it looks like we're out of time. I want to, I'll go over that one next time. I want to remind you, check out our booth at the Carrollton Flea Market on Saturday and Sunday. 
It's the West Georgia Flea Market in Bremen, Georgia on Highway 27. And you can check out our pawn shop at kawitapawn.com. And good and happy trails. Until next time, this is Robert Housefield with Thrifting for Profit and Pleasure. See you later.